Um, so the Memphis Showboats lose, I believe, to the San Antonio Brahmas, who are a team that we have gotten on the bandwagon of. San Antonio Brahmas have also lost their kicker. Destroying, obviously, the very famous YouTube athlete kicker personality who we are all big fans of. Hit a kickoff. Another one, he was hitting bombs in the first week, was doing in the second one. Gets in on the tackle. Lowers his head, though, as soon as he makes the tackle. Great tackle. Takes a shot at the guy. The guy comes to talk shit at him. He talks back. Destroying, lowers his head, gets into it. I'm once again in the middle of WrestleMania weekend, so I'm seeing the highlight. I'm like, okay, Donald, wait a mm-hmm. hey. Why'd he get in there? Yeah. Now, as soon as I saw him hit, though, yeah, yeah. with his head down yeah. like this, I was like, ooh, 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 that was a dangerous That was a dangerous hit. I appreciate him laying on the line. A lot of people tweet me, God, I love a kicker getting into it. It's like, I do love it. But also, that looked kind of a little. Turns out he broke his neck. Yeah. He posted broke his today. neck? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. broke his neck. Uh, the thing says, thank you all for the good wishes. Turns out that tackle, due to bad form, I fractured my neck in a couple places. Yeah. Although this sucks, I'm grateful because it could have been all bad, obviously. Kids, please learn how to talk or, uh, tackle with proper form. Thank you, Promise and UFL, for giving me the opportunity. It has been a blast, and thank you all for supporting me on this journey. I'm going to sit my ass down and focus on healing up. Love y'all, okay? Hey, hey, we're pulling for you, buddy. Godspeed. That's dangerous. Obviously, we know what that could be yeah, with yeah. head down tackles that we've seen. That's kind of the entire story of heads up football there. And uh, I think anybody that played football, yeah. as soon as they saw that tackle, were like, oh, that was a top of helmet collision. Yeah. Very thankful that oh, it yeah. ended up in a spot where he thinks he's going to be okay in the long run. But obviously, his UFL season is over. And I don't even think he got to kick a field goal. No. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. No. no. I don't he, even think he got a chance to kick no, a field goal. He did not. Which sucks completely for the entire story. But obviously, <laughs> Godspeed, nothing but T's and P's over there. And thanks for mixing it up. Not being scared to get mm-hmm. in there. You know, thanks for getting a- off the field, too. Thanks for getting off the field. He didn't want to lay on the opposing team's sideline, too. He understood. You could be all right, D. Yep. Yeah. Need to see him hit a professional kick, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Good tackle. Yeah, like, I good, hey. Credit to him for throwing, having the courage to throw his head in there and make that tackle, though. Well, I appreciate the fact that in his head, he's like, yeah, I got to do it. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Like, I got to do it. Now, granted, I think, you know, if you don't make a tackle, you're going to get exposed. If you yeah. don't get in there, you're going to get exposed. And he's like, no way. He's like one of the most athletic humans on the internet. There's no way he's not going to get in there. But the way he went in, I appreciate him acknowledging, too. Like, let's get some proper tackle uh, fundamentals yeah. in here going in next time. But, D, we can't wait to see you back, buddy. Uh, bigger picture, you said he didn't get to uh, kick a field goal. They also don't kick extra points. And if this is supposed to be a feeder league for the NFL, I think you may need to talk to the final boss and say, like, hey, if you guys do kick extra points, 33 yards, it's a lot better way to get these kickers some looks if we're not kicking field goals. Well, Larry fucking David. I don't know if you heard I did. I did. But him. Thank God Curb Your Enthusiasm's over. <laughs> what do he say? Well, he makes great shows. He's hilarious. We get it. Mm-hmm. Big fan. <laughs> da, 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 da. He's trying to eliminate kickers and punters from football. Mm-hmm. So, fuck him. That's how I feel. But, like, he is a hilarious human being. He is a hilarious human being. He utilized... Um, you know, his network and was able to call the rock and say, we need to get rid of field goals. Street. There it is, dog. We back on Hay Street, man. Over a hundred people already in on the intro, dog. We on Hay Street. And guess where we landed today, Street? Let me see. Let me see if I can figure out where we at. See if you can figure that out. Palm trees, blue water, huh? On the beach. Blue water? Now think about it. That's a lot. That's a live shot now. So East Coast time is getting a little dark. That looks really bright. So what is that telling you? <laughs> shout out to uh, street, shout out the street that was on the plane. I had to drug him because he don't like to fly, so he don't know where we landed to, man. <laughs> we in uh, Hawaii. Y'all clap it up for my dog. We in Hawaii, y'all. We in Maui, baby. We in Maui, man. Listen, we in Maui kicking it. Uh, like I said, we landed. This is Hayes Street, man. I am Coach Hayes. That's my dog over there, D Streeter from Football Field. And uh, and look, man, we good to go, man. So look, we, let's talk about it. Um, 140 already in the building, man. This thing is picking up. Appreciate it. 
We are live every weekday, Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. ish. If the plane lands correctly, uh, sometimes we got to wait for our bags and stuff, man. You know, they be wanting to check our bags because <laughs> we got that luggage in this Louis, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, talk to us. You know, they when they, see, when they see us with the Louis luggage, they be like, them boys can't be. There ain't no swim trunks in the Louis. You got to add some other stuff. We got, but anyway, I'm just we, got, we, got, we got the luggage in this Louis. We got luggage in this Louis, man. Shout out to a couple of people in the building. LV, Yellow Bell, uh, T all day, King David, Courtney, aka Google Man, J Mose, and uh Courtney Joke. So what's up, man? Speaking of of, of, of Louis luggage. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, did you did you know? Did you know that when you Okay, so I had a chance of flying. I've had a chance. Here we go. I'm showing off, though. I had a chance of flying private. All right. Had a chance of flying private on the jet, right? So I'm going to show okay. off a little bit. Me and my dog torn. We had a chance of flying private on the jet, right? And speaking of Louis luggage, mm-hmm. private on the jet in the comment section. Do you think it's hard or easy? To put drugs on a, a private jet, you think it's <laughs> you think it's more difficult or less difficult to fly with marijuana? Well, I'm not gonna give an that. answer. I, I'm not gonna give an answer, but I will kind of <laughs> talk while people answer. Uh, I fly private all the time. I just allow other people to get on the plane with me. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. So I fly private all the time. I mean, I got a 747. Uh, I call it the the Hayes craft. And, um, you know, but I let probably about 300 other people fly with me sometimes because I know other people got places to go. So I let them, you know, I allowed them to come on to the plane with me. Um, and so I got a full staff. I got pilots at my beck and call. Uh, we got, you know, flight attendants and everything else. So, uh, let me see a couple of people in here. What do they say? Angel says easy. Bama easier than they don't check private. Gregory easy T all day. Uh, I would think it's easier. King David, easy. What's your thoughts on the street? Um, the person I was flying with is, was huge in marijuana, right? So he was in marijuana. He's one of the biggest marijuana dealers in, in the game. Hold on, um, hold on. Make sure you put legal in front of that. Legal Make sure you marijuana. put legal. legal. Marijuana is legal in some states. He's out in Arizona. One of them. And I just asked him because we didn't have any marijuana. When I asked him, I was like, hey, listen, if we wanted to take marijuana from the plant, like, can you do that? And dog, the answer was the answer kind of floored me, dog. Cause he looked at me like, "Yeah, it's our jet." <laughs> I'm saying to myself, the people in public get harassed so bad for toothpaste that's too big, right? For sure. But if you got enough money, like the rules don't even apply. Oh, I mean, we see that everywhere. But you're right. You're 100 percent right. You get harassed for cologne bottle that's too big. <laughs> sure. when, when you own spirit and that, that eight that fifty nine dollars ticket. But if you got enough sure. money, it's like it's like it's like the rule don't even exist. I thought where's cologne yeah, come through that thing? You know he would load it. Oh yeah, man. Listen, and, and also I think it's a safety thing, right? The number of passengers um make a difference. Uh, Cause you know, back in the day, I'm old enough to remember when they didn't have TSA prior to 9/11. Mm-hmm. I remember you just. I remember when people could take you and and walk you to the gate of your plane and watch you leave out the window and see your whole plane take off. You know what I mean? So, yeah, straight Lamar. Lamar, what's up, man? Hey, I'm man, we got a king. King, great enough, man. I hope none of y'all on Diddy plane. No, sir, man. not me. Man, Diddy done went from cool. To, man, it's crazy how the media can just turn and change the whole. Diddy, Diddy done went from making people walk with cheesecake. They can't go out and get a cheesecake. That is crazy, dog. Hey, from go walk and get a cheesecake to putting a, a file in the cheesecake when you go visit him, so he could scissor through the bars. Zigga, zigga, zigga. Anyway, Diddy, I don't, I don't know what you do in your private life, Diddy, but listen, man, you brought me. Bad Boy Remix. Bad Boy. 
<laughs> yeah, though. So, Puppy, though, I ain't gonna, you brought me, though. You brought me uh, you Wool Remix. You brought me Craig Mack Remix. You brought me Victory. Listen, man, I ain't gonna turn my back on you, Puffy, though. And if they do lock you up, though, I'm gonna send you some motherfucking commissary, bro. I got you, bro. My dog much, street tonight. That boy's gonna be street. Kelly, though. You know, took R. Kelly in his, in his discography. They finna go on here and rate that. They probably own that now. He probably don't have any rights to it anymore. Come on, man. Puffy gave us too much, though. Too much happiness. Too much dancing. I can't, though. I, I, I can't I can't even watch him do it. I don't, whatever. Street finna put some money on the books for some three honey buns, a soup, and a carton of cigarettes. That's what he about to do. That's what he about to do. That boy finna get in that jump. I can't watch him do it, though. I can't. Too much. Too much. I'm not going to let them delete. In my mind, that Puffy brought us Biggie. Puffy brought us. Well, what was it called with, with, with young first time we ever saw young Jeezy? He was with Puffy Usher riding on the hood of that car. Let them delete those memories out of my mind with they BS. I don't give a fuck. Hold on, I got a better one. Puffy actually directed the first Outcast video. Really? Yeah, dog. If y'all have not watched The Art of North, the art. Uh, the Art of Organized Noise on Netflix. You are doing a disservice to yourself. The what Art of Organized, hood? yeah, the Art of Organized Noise. Uh, it's a documentary about Outcast and the Dungeon Family and Rico Wade and them boys. Boy, I tell you, it's, it's something awesome. Really? Well, we got two forty in here, man. Man, it's, I it watched on? that thing five five times. Netflix. It well, it was on it was on Netflix. Hey, somebody once told me. Man, man, Puffy wouldn't have been nothing without Biggie. I said, I said, dog, have you been paying attention? <laughs> Puffy. <laughs> like, Bro, I, 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 think, I, think, I think Puffy was still next to 20 motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what are we talking about here? Snipes, what's up with you, baby? Snipes, what's going on, um, bro? Listen, man, I'm going to just say this, man. I get it. I understand. I still don't understand the whole taking the music away from the people because I'll just say this before we get into destroying man, but I don't understand the taking away of music because you're not just hurting that musician. You're hurting all of the people who play instruments, the producers, the direct, all of those people are getting hurt. You know what I mean? Uh, when you do that and, and the music doesn't, doesn't dictate what that person may have done. You understand what I'm saying? And it's almost like this. You're going to take somebody's music off the shelf or off the streaming platform because they've done something. I get it. So you punish them and that's it. But don't, but don't punish all the other people that those albums feed as well. And that's the sad part about it. You know what I mean? Because they are selective on what they take off. Because remember, even with R. Kelly, and I know people are sensitive about R. Kelly, but he wrote just as much music for other people as he sang songs on, like Celine Dion and Michael Jackson and all those people. And they don't take this stuff off the shelf. So no, he's still all, tied to okay. music. No. Yeah, but he's all he's still tied to music, man. And that's what it is. But uh, they said they had some videos of him and, and Stevie J. Matter of fact, shout out to Tattoo Terry. Says Stevie J and Diddy were riding bikes or something down there in Miami. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. Look here. I. I don't, I don't have nothing to say about it, but Street, what's your last words on it? We're going to get into uh, destroying, man. He was in Miami. They was in Miami riding bikes. They was down here that's, Miami that's, riding bikes. Bro, that look like a man with no worries, dog. Taking pictures and all. Yeah. Bitch, that's like, I, hey. I don't, uh, I, don't know what that's, I don't know what that's about. I mean, but I also know that these people don't play fair. So so if you keep, I mean, if you, they don't have nothing on you and you keep antagonizing them, They'll throw the weed in the back seat. They, they, they don't play fair. Just like it's no different than flying private. <laughs> it ain't fair. It ain't, it ain't fair. fair. No, no, it ain't. It, it's not fair. It's not fair, bro. Yeah. Not at all. Well, let's get into it, man. Shout out to Pat McAfee. Uh, hopefully, he allows us to use this. So, Pat McAfee, please don't copyright us, dog. Because we get one every show. 
Did we get one you? every show, dog. Did he hear you? Matter of fact, I need, I need to call him, dog. I was just, I was over there. I was, I was uh, long snapping for him one day when he was kicking. So let me, let me call him, man. I, I text him right quick. Don't, don't. But anyway, I'll do it after the show. But anyway, man. Um, you know, but but anyway, you saw the Pat McAfee open. If you hadn't seen it, you just popping in. Always you go back, rewind, select, uh, and you go back and check the beginning of it. We always try to play a news clip and kind of what we're talking about and everything else. Uh, but anyway, let me see. Can y'all tell me why they didn't arrest Hugh Hefner? Because I'm confused on the difference. Bro, Snipes, see? This is why I say, dog, you're going to go down to one of the greatest OCs of all time. Because your mind always working, dog. Your mind always working, Snipes. I, I'm with you. Set it up, hey. He got you. Set you ready? It up. All right, I'm going to put this fa- on no, the No, no, no. You, wait, 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 no. You famous. You you having big parties at your house. With, 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 with girls there. Different ages, whatever. You're famous. Right. You're known for having big parties at your house. That's right, that's right. Come to your house. Start I come to your house and I literally start drugging women to have sex with them. Both of us black. Who name they saying? D Streeter. They ain't saying mine because I'm they ain't saying mine because I'm light skinned. So they're gonna say D Streeter. <laughs> Bro, who what are they saying at who party? They're gonna say at who party? At who party somebody was. Oh, I get it. They're not going to say that. Like, I know you're right. You're, you're, yeah, I, yeah, totally I, I don't honest. have nothing to say. <laughs> I don't think the name I now, here's what, <laughs> now, here's what I will say. Overdose says uh, uh, everything Hef did, they were adults. Now, I have not heard this. I may be wrong because I don't really follow celebrity news too tough. Hold up. Shut up. Clap it up. We got 305 in the building. 305 in the building. Hold up the 305. Yeah, 305 people in the building. Appreciate you. We always got to get love when we hit the 305 mark. But I will say this. I have not heard. I may be wrong. I'm not claiming I'm right because I don't follow it. That's my disclaimer. But I haven't heard anything about Puffy with underage people. I have not heard that. I've heard it was coercion and this, that, and the third. But I haven't heard anything about underage Girls, boys, whatever. No, nah, they just no, they just use hot button terms like sex trafficking, and then when you hear those things, it sounds like. But we already did the definition of sex trafficking. But but you see how my, yeah. you see how overdose you, you see how overdose came to Hugh to Hugh Hefner's uh defense. I'm talking about Bill Cosby. I'm yeah. talking about like how was his name never mentioned in the Bill Cosby case? <laughs> like like how did he escape? That? And you don't think Hugh Hefner, they ain't had no Quaaludes and roofies going around at the Playboy Mansion. No, Bill Man, brought it. Please. Bill brought the Jello and yeah, Bill, Bill brought the drugs. And he was giving them that pudding <laughs> pop. But anyway, <laughs> let me get on. A... I don't know, bro. I, I don't. Some, sometimes it is confusing, though. Oh, God. Oh, Very God. Confusing, but anyway, bro. and I, it is. It is, dog. Like I say, if they want you, they know who they want to target. But let's get it to this man. Three twenty-seven in the building. Appreciate it. Hit the like, share, subscribe button as we grow in this thing. We do. We simulcast in both ways, on a uh, street side and on our side, man. So make sure you go ahead and hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Uh, destroying Donald De La Hay, who, if you don't know, uh, was famous or became famous um, by having a YouTube channel when YouTube was early in the game, and he yeah. was a kicker on scholarship at the University of Central Florida. At that time, the Golden Knights, which are not the Knights. And the NCAA, prior to NIL and and all that stuff, uh, came to him and said, listen, because, first of all, let me go back. Some people may not know, if you were a college athlete on scholarship, you could not have a job. You could not earn money. Right. And, and so the NCAA came to him and said, listen, you got to make a decision. Either quit doing the YouTube videos and be a football player or quit being a football player and do the YouTube videos. So he decided he going to bet on himself and do the football videos uh, on YouTube. And they were nothing like, but like trick shots and, you know, kicking trick shots, stuff like that. Nothing like he's doing today uh, on his YouTube right. channel. And 
you know, it went big. CNN interviewed him and all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. And he kept doing what he was doing and became one of the biggest, I'll just say, football YouTubers in the game. Um, right. I mean, he put out a video, man, that thing be at 100,000 views, bro, in like two hours. You know what I mean? Um, he, yeah. <laughs> said you couldn't, my bad, Lamar, he said, you mean you couldn't earn money on the side? True story. Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, he became that. And then his channel probably is more popular now where he goes around the country doing a lot of one-on-ones, giving out money, 10 grand or whatever the case may be. And uh, right. he's now been on this journey to become a professional kicker uh, or to play professional football. And he got an opportunity to play with the San, o San Antonio Brahmers, if I said that right. Um, something like that. I may have jacked it up. But anyhow. <laughs> the San Antonio Brahmers kicker Donald De La Haye. Yeah. yeah, so the, the San Antonio Brahmers. I thought he was talking about Broham. Like, you know, I'm in the Brom. You know, mm -hmm. back in the day, we called a Cadillac Brom. But anyway, um, and he was in a game, did a kick kickoff, and went to tackle the guy, hit him head on, and broke. It ended up fracturing his neck, which in technically in medical terms is still a break. So what do you take from that, Street Man? I know you've been doing some, some, some uh, social media stuff and working with it. What, what's up with that? Um, I, I'll say this. Um, they destroying if y'all don't know. Yeah, he does a lot of kicking. He's one of the most athletic people I've seen. Um, period. Uh, I mean, he can do. There's a lot of things um, that he could do. But but it goes to yeah. show you that even sure. at the UFL level, how brutal football is. How 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 how. How you, how you can't just be sitting on your couch and get up one day and go play football. Um, it's a gladiator sport. And it, it looked like he was in line to, to – it looked like the NFL had lined him up to, 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 to show the story and walk him right into the NFL. So if I was him, I'm not sure, bro. I'm not sure if I would have if I would have went that hard. <laughs> I think your story wasn't about tackling people. Um, now nah, you're right. Real quick, J Dub, is this news recent or old? This is this is new. This just happened this weekend. Yeah, he showed uh, up with a neck brace this, this morning. Yeah, he showed just, up with a neck brace and announced it. Yeah, he announced it this morning. Um, so yes and no, right? If it's in you, it's in you. And again, I can't speak for his UCF days if he ever was a guy that was out there laying thunder because I remember watching a Florida game. And, bro, their kicker, he was number 28. I don't know his name. But I remember seeing that dude going down. He kicked the ball off. And usually the kicker is the safe guy, right? Somebody break, he try to slow him up, team. This dude was in the wedge, boy. He kicked the ball and be, yum! He done laid a couple cats out, man. So He said he, he was in the wedge. Yeah, he was He was wedge busting as the kicker. Uh, and they let one of them skinny dudes stay back there in case somebody broke loose. But anyhow. Uh, so I don't know if the, if that's it, like that dog piece is in him trying to prove a point because he has not played since college. He's I think he's 30 right. years old, somewhere around there. Right. If he's not, 30, mm -hmm. he's just running up on 30. So he got to kind of prove his point and his, his clock is clicking and ticking. So, you know, and it's yeah, one of them yeah, things, right? We can always look back. Yeah, but we can always look backwards, right? We can always look back when things go wrong. We always look back and say, man, I shouldn't have did that. But if he made that tackle, got up from it, nobody would be like, man, he shouldn't be. The Everybody like, boy, you seen that boy out there dropping that wood, boy? <laughs> you know, so I get it. They, I, I they said they cut the video. They said um, when he made the tackle, though, he it, like you could see that he was hurt. But but that's not how they edited the video when he got out to everybody. Got you. Wow, that's amazing, man. Now, they say he may be, the season may be over. Um, as you heard, Pat McAfee, if you hadn't heard it, they don't do extra points like you see in NFL and college. After a touchdown, you kick the one-point extra point. They only do field goals, and he had not – I think the one opportunity he had, somebody jumped off sides, and then they end up faking right. it, uh, so forth. So uh, he has not had an opportunity to actually kick a field goal in that sense, but he just did kickoffs. Right. 
And this this is the play. Like he didn't even have to tackle him. Like he, he wasn't the, he wasn't be the last guy in the fix, right? Right. He up there getting his nose getting his nose dirty. Yeah. Well, shout out to him for smiling, bro. You know. <laughs> shout out to him for smiling. No, for real, dog. Because and the reason I say that, and I don't say that, I'm saying that because this is a guy who wanted to do this. This is a guy who wanted who chased his dream. Uh, right. And to go out there, and it literally got cut short. I'm talking about, you know, like you, you know. No, nah, he said, he said, he said, at least I cracked his ass. <laughs> but I heard the voiceover. You heard the guy, guess who we hit right there, 28? I think it's 28? 22, it sorry. No, he said, man, was that destroying? Was that destroying yeah. hit me like that? So when he, he got up, and, yeah, yeah. But when he here got go. up. Let's, let's see if we can hear Let's see if we can hear oh, I don't like him. He, yeah, he already mic'd up. When they mic up kickers. Watch this. <laughs> Never turn, Trey. Hey, that was Donna? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, that was a good form. Oh. Hey, that was a good form. Tackle hey, one nine. Hey. Now, y'all want to see something funny? Y'all want to see something funny? Y'all want to see something funny? Was, but this, this, is, this is the football. This is the football field Instagram page. And right here. <laughs> it's Eddie George. <laughs> the running Eddie back George Eddie George. Said, the running back Eddie George. Eddie George come in and said, see what you hit, hit what you see. Never use the crown of your head when you tackle. Never. So I tweeted, so I, I commented to Eddie George and I said, I said, that boy been out of football for a while, coach. And Eddie said, after seeing, <laughs> after seeing this, might want to consider staying out. Damn. <laughs> Damn, dog. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, Tigers, right? Yeah, that's my dog V12 yeah. when the TSU. Uh, shout out to him, man. But that, hey, I ain't gonna lie, I, I don't think he need to stay out. I mean, he is the kicker, he just uh -huh. gonna, he ain't gonna make, I don't think he's gonna make them kind of tackle. He's gonna be out there ankle biting for now on. He's gonna be out there if laying you, down to do, do a push up. If you if, if you had to guess in the comment section, if y'all had to guess, do y'all think this is over? Or do you think they come back next year and run it again? Because a broken neck means that means he. Well, he could make YouTube videos. He probably just make a different kind. But but I think in this moment, you realize that his career, his career for now is an entertainer, mm. right? And and he's doing something that that kind of jeopardizes what he does. Um. So what y'all think? Y'all think y'all think y'all think they end it, or y'all think the story continues and they come back? We watch him rehab and they and they just because he because listen, he mic'd up. The cameras follow him. He didn't get them. <laughs> the cameras follow him. Yeah, if I'm him, I have to be honest. He's the kicker. I'm going to be like, sir, go out there and kick the ball, please, and be a kicker. That's just me. Uh, if a dude, if a dude, it's like a quarterback, right? If you go out there, you don't see Tom Brady out there trying to tackle no doggone body. But, and again, it's the UFL and so forth. Um it just so happens, and I'll say this. I remember orthopedic doctor told me this. He said, hey, to break a bone is pretty hard. Now there's still your neck, and he told me eight pounds of pressure break your neck. But it's all about the angle and the amount of pressure is what breaks. He said, think about it. When you get tackled, you see dudes get hammered, by and they pop right up, nothing broken. It wasn't the right angle. It wasn't the right amount of pressure. But you see a dude get hit, just a regular old hit, and break his dog on arm, his tibia, or whatever. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Right. And you know, you know, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy how strong and durable the body is. But every, but everything has a weak link, and it's all about the right angle and the right amount of pressure, man. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's nice. I wouldn't risk it again. Make his money on YouTube, <laughs> showing his rehab, and then at the end, announce his retirement. People will watch the story. That's, that's true, though. That's true. According on, according on how burning that desire is to kick in the NFL, and I, and I think, I think he really wants to spit in some people's faces, man. That that 
that that that it's going to know how yeah it's going to know how deep that burning desire is. I just think he wanted, like you said, he want to spit in the face of the NFL. I mean, I'm sorry, the NCAA. Excuse me, to say y'all really took my dream away from me because I made some videos, dog. Not because I did anything controversial. I didn't do anything illegal, you know, in the sense of you know out there being crazy with it. But right, street, come on, bro. Like, I think even if he gets one one kick, you know how in basketball they get a ten day contract. If he just uh-huh. get one 10 day contract to live his dream, kick one one field goal in the NFL, put that pitch on his wall, I, I I'll be all happy for him. I really would, dog, because I mean, I don't know him personally, and I don't know the kind of person he is, but he seems to be, you know, a, a, a guy that cares, goes to the different communities, spends a lot of money. I remember him buying uh one of those guys he was doing the thing with, told him to go and dick sporting goods, buy whatever you want. And he paid right. for it, you know that that kind of stuff, man. So why not live? Nah, real, not let him real humble dude. I don't. I don't been with him. I don't been with him a few times. Real, real, real humble dude. But but yeah. but this kind of goes to what we've been talking about this week when we were talking about the the women's basketball, the, the women's basketball, and and how famous Caitlin Clark is, how famous Angel Reese is, right? You see that they came out with the stats that the women's game had more viewers than the men's game. Yes. How does I'm going to ask y'all in the comment section? How does a guy like Destroying, who's living on YouTube, end up partnering with the NFL, end up getting put back in the league with a chance to go to the NFL? Like, 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 what makes him unique? And I'm gonna tell y'all, it's the same thing we've been talking about. It's because he has those followers, and those followers. Mm-hmm are now watching the UFL and they know the value of those followers. And that's how he gets the chance because he is the brand. He's, he's the distribution. Yeah. 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 How many followers does he have? Over a million. You got over oh a million. My God. Four, I think four he has million, a, five million, five, something like I that. Think he's on million. Instagram. Oh yeah. But yeah, I think YouTube, yeah, YouTube, he definitely had like five or 6 million, you know, and like you said, he's bringing a lot of the younger kids to it. Um, you know, I, I don't know how many, I would say like this, college age fans, like, you know, the 45, 55 guys may watch it religiously. Uh, right. Because I was under the wrong impression when I started doing those breakdown videos that the kids will watch it when I first started doing it. Come to realize when I start looking at the demographics and kind of doing a little study, everybody that watches 25 to 55. So these are the fans, you know, the majority of it are the fans of these high school, of, I'm sorry, of these college teams. And he actually has garnered the attention of the high school age kids. Cause when he put on an event, bro, they got to have police. They got to have security. Like they go to the different cities <laughs> and bro, they, they gotta, they gotta have the right thing. And then the dude got so big that he started holding those events in NFL stadiums. Yeah. The the one the one they brought to Miami they shut it down. Yeah, him and him Travis Hunter yeah they they shut it down. The one they brought to they Miami. Did. Yeah, they did the one inside the uh, inside Detroit Lions. They had that whole thing going on in the stadium. So that's big right there, man. I mean, <laughs> no NFL just don't let you come in because you pay a rental fee. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe they do. <laughs> I don't know. They do. They do. They do. Um, Pylon have their little championship there. They do. Wow. Darn, man. I hate it. I, I hate it. Yeah, I hate it for him. I do, man. Yeah. Patrick Bryant uh, said, I'm 53, and I enjoy his content. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> get Eddie George on the show. Love to hear his stories battling Ray Lewis uh, throughout his NFL career. Man, let me call Let, let me call him right quick, man. See what he's doing. <laughs> Is Eddie, is Eddie George there, Henry? Yo, Eddie. What's up, boy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, I need you to come on Hayes Street Show. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Hello? Eddie. 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 I, I, I think the signal dropped. Hey, 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 I think the signal dropped. I'll call him back later. I'll th- call him back later. I'll call him back later. <laughs> 
No, nah, but uh, Eddie, is Eddie, mm. Eddie George and Derrick Henry saying running back. Ooh, I don't think I, I don't. <laughs> no, no, they 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 both good within their own right. I think they're a little different. I think they're a little different. I think they're a little different. Think so? Yeah, nah, they're not the same. I think a lot of times when we look at size, we try to make the mm-hmm. size comparison, and we think because you you are the same or similar size to somebody that that's them. Uh huh. Derrick Henry, my God, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know Derrick Henry. Golly. Did you hear that whole clip about Ryan Clark talking about he talking about he would have rip he would have met uh uh uh, uh Derrick Henry in the hole he was tackled he would have he would have met him in the hole yeah I'm t- you know if he would have met him in the hole Derrick Henry Derrick Henry would not run him over he he said <laughs> I didn't see that yeah. oh that's on pivot on the pivot podcast I'm like boy please I'm like boy please you can pull that that's a layer Ryan Clark like no he's tackled. I met him on. He's tackled. Yeah, you might, but you're going to be chopping some wood. You ain't going to run up on that tree trunk, boy. They're just playing around. I, could, I promise you, you that. What you got? What you got on a tree trunk? Bro. Man, sometimes you hear the dude, dog. Them dudes be built like like concrete, bro. So we, we got we got, we got got Eddie George. Let's see. Dang, Shannon, Shannon shot down. With, and Shannon done shot down with a lot of people. Huh? Shay Shay. Shay Shay been on. Shay Shay been on about three years, man. Club Shay Shay. He sat down a lot of people. So this is Eddie yeah. George for the people who ain't who ain't never see Eddie George. Was Eddie George fast? I mean, he wasn't no Chris Johnson fast. Huh? He wasn't no Chris Johnson fast from the Tennessee Titans. But yeah, I think he had legitimate speed. Like straight up speed. Like and here's Derrick Henry. How in, in in the chat? What 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 my, my stat people at? How big was there Eddie George? Derrick Henry is what six three? Yeah, look at this dude, dog. God, Lee. <laughs> that's crazy. Let's see, Eddie George, fifty years old. Eddie George is six three. Bro, he's stiff on he's stiff on 21. Watch 21 come back in the picture again. Watch this. 21 right back again for some more. No sir. No sir. Eddie George was a so they saying Eddie George was a four four. That's fast, dog. I don't know why people don't think. I mean, it might not be Olympic fast, but a four four ain't like bro, we talking about tenths of a second here. We talking right. about tenths of a second. We ain't talking about no dog on a whole second. We talking about tenths of a second here. Man, this is crazy. Look at this dog. That's I mean, crazy. I think you saw that jump cut right there. They look like the same back, they look like the same back to me, dog. I don't know, bro. I don't know. This dude, right? Look at this, man. Bro, look at this. Somebody come look at this. <laughs> somebody come. Somebody come. Somebody look come at look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Bro, never broke stride, dog. Yeah, that boy is stiffy. Ugh. Two hundred and forty pounds, six three. Eddie George. That's Derrick right. Henry. And that was in the what nineties, huh? Derrick Henry yeah. is two forty seven. Ugh. Uh. And you talking about you talking about at 240 pounds, bro. We ain't talking about 247. Yeah, we're not talking about you know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Uh. And then here's the sad part as a defender, you know this. You at yeah. a disadvantage, dog. <laughs> so man, look at Mark Ingram. As good as Martin were, look at this. Look at this man standing next to Derrick Henry, dog. Come on, man. Hey, could you imagine being a star running back on the roster, right? And, and he he comes in as a freshman, and you like, boy, this better be a good year. 
Nigga, get out of here. I ain't, ain't going to never see the field again, boy, if this boy ever get out. <laughs> oh, matter of fact, go ahead. It. I think that was the clip. That was a clip of him. And, what you got? Look at that. That's stiff arm stink, boy. Which one? Him and who? You talking about Nick Saban? Okay. Oh, um, and wanted to celebrate afterwards. So <laughs> we in the meeting one day after the game, forgot who he played. And he pulling up, uh, he pulling up film. He's showing everybody that he he to my and you guys, you stop doing all that showboating, doing all that uh praying hands and uh act like you thanking God. And then later on that night, 12 o'clock, you're down there, you got black and mouths, you got liquor, you're chasing. He's like, he's like, well, get all that. <laughs> and then we were, we were, Nick done called them hypocrites. Nick baby said, y'all hypocrites, man. All that y'all praying think- y'all score touchdown. You down there smoking on the weed and chasing on the girl. You down there smoking black and mouths on the corner, <laughs> drinking, drinking liquor, smoking. <laughs> all the time. Chasing, chasing girls. That shit, man. That shit is so funny, bro. I'm like, bro, you were tired of y'all. Nick, hey, Nick Saban is a is a square guy like that. Yeah, he believes. Okay, so so the process, right? Uh huh. He just be- believes in the process. He believes in this is how things should be done. This is how because it works. And 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 I think that's where I think that's what it is. And it's funny you say that because I'm actually doing the Colorado show tonight about that because there's been a lot Mm -hmm. of talk about distractions, attractions or distractions. Uh And the way Prime is kind of doing things versus the way, you know, Nick Saban or the typical way things are done. But he's a person and a lot of coaches believe in this particular process. Do it this way. It works. Practice hard. Do things this way. Don't be self-centered. Don't don't try to bring attention to you. It's always team, 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 right? Like that's the thing. It's always about the team because you don't win by yourself. The team wins, and so yeah, I think he's he can be fun, but when it comes to football, he he he's he's a football fanatic in that sense. In the a process, he's a process fanatic because he always they always say trust the process. Trust the process. And and, and it shows so he, that it works for him. So he's talking to them yeah. toward the process, like basically saying, yeah, y'all ain't he bringing God in it, but he just want them to eat right, drink right. He want him to be healthy. Well, what he's saying is, I wouldn't mind you doing the God thing, but right after the game, you on the corner with Black and Miles drinking liquor. You ain't serious. <laughs> You doing that? That's basically what he's trying to tell them. Like, you're not so you know what I mean. You ain't living a godly life because you're not right. supposed to be on the black and miles and the liquor. But yet, to everybody out there, you want to be talking about praying hands and you down here doing all this because it's a way of bringing attention to yourself. But you ain't out there Tim Tebowing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing all that and going to the dorm room and reading Genesis. You know what I'm saying? You out there trying to get Genesis. That's the problem. You ought to trying to see what Mary talking about. Not too, not too many people doing that, though. I not agree. Not too many people doing, the Tim, doing the Tim Tebow. No, I agree with you, but I think that's his. I think that's his whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and again, right? Coaches the same thing. Coaches preach one thing, they go over and do something else. So it happens, man. But uh, it'll be interesting, man. Ooh, so Ash said, on, you're bro? bringing attention so to yourself. On, he said, you're bringing attention to yourself, not God, while doing it in his name. Interesting point. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, man. It'd be interesting. But, yeah, that's what I'm talking about here in about 25 minutes. 425 people in the building. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button, notification bell, so you're aware when we come out every day, 7 o'clock-ish. It's 8.02 already, man. Uh. We've been on here 45 minutes. Like I said, the plane landed a little bit late. We're going to stay in Maui probably for about two more days, probably about today and tomorrow. And uh, we may come on back and see what's going on, man. I don't know, man. Ain't nobody uh, playing volleyball in, Mar- in Maui, man. I don't know, dog. Well, I call Mahitas in Deerfield Beach, dog. They say the beach like it was closed today. So that's why <laughs> that's why we took the PJ. You know, we took the PJ, the private jet, straight on over here to Maui right quick. And, uh, you know, Street, you know, he got on the plane. Talking about anybody gonna check my bag? 
I said, no, nah, take this drink. Man, Snipes called me the other day, man, told me I need to go watch. I need to go watch. Was it rugby? Not rugby. Which ones they got the stick and they throw the ball with the stick? Throw the ball with the stick? Yeah. Lacrosse? Snipes street map. Lacrosse. Snipes ain't street oh. map. I went to a lacrosse game. It's some serious. Kids, some kids in the neighborhood. Some, okay, so listen. Some kids. A guy named D. Brick took some kids in the neighborhood, right? And they used to be to coach the football team. He was a good football coach. So he got a bright idea to start teaching them how to play lacrosse in the middle of Lil Haiti, Hayes. Yes, sir. And they was bad. Smart. They was bad in the beginning. But boy, when they caught on. <laughs> they tearing the whole court of lacrosse league up, bro. All right. And they're 12 years old. Yeah, I'm gonna give you huh? two. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you two little history lessons. See, I'm not sure if you know this about lacrosse. What was the first HBCU? To have a lacrosse team, and second, who was a famous running back to get a lacrosse scholarship? Jim Brown. Jim Brown. Ah, you just saw that in the comment section. You think you sleep? No. Nah, now, how did they no, answer that that fast? Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, so they didn't even hear you ask the question. That's crazy. I'm like, yeah. How did they that fast? No, no, no. I knew Jim Brown played lacrosse, but I don't know the first HBCU. Come on, man. Them help the pirates, baby. Huh? My home, hold on, let me get that over there. Man, I can't get the camera over far enough because we cut off. My home by the sea, baby. Innovators, dog. Patch out. That's right. You know, talking about Howard. Get that Howard out of here, Nassau. Get that Howard. Nassau, get that out. <laughs> get that crap out of here, man. And if Hampton, so if Hampton was wasn't the first. The first if Hampton wasn't the first and I got it wrong, I don't care. We still the first. We like Soldier Boy. We the first one to do it. We the first one to do it. Even if we wrong, we was first. How about that? So now, nah, man, so now nah, D. Britt, man, in, in the middle of Little Haiti, bro, has taught the kids how to play the cross. That's bro. awesome, though. And they, and they like leading the league. What's the name of the team, Snipe? Is it, is it, is it still Tokosi? Y'all go check check him out, man. I'm sure you, you can find D. Brit on Facebook or something, man. But I'm gonna go. I'm I, I'm I'm gonna get out there and check him out because the story been brewing for a while. Um, I saw that he gave him an award like a year ago. Um, I think the city gave him some money. Um, but you can go to college from the cross. There's the lacrosse team in college, right here. <laughs> you can get a scholarship. Yeah, yeah, but the problem is, oh, plenty. But it's a northern sport. It's kind of like field hockey for for ladies, you know what I mean? It's uh -huh. a northern sport, like hockey, like hockey for example. I don't know of any hockey teams in Florida, South Florida rather, uh, like high school hockey teams. Uh, but it's more of a northern sport. Uh, it's okay. it's definitely working its way down. When I moved to Orlando, uh, they had a lacrosse team here uh, in Orlando, and they got lacrosse matches and stuff. So it is, it is getting bigger, it but is it is more of a bigger. northern sport. Yeah, and and so, nah, so it's sorry. uh it's definitely growing. It's definitely growing. Nah, so sorry, D. Brit for that, man. I always thought D. Brit was cool, man, and he back. He doing something cool again, dog. Yeah, I don't know the. I know they be whacking the world out of them with that stick, but they be bam, be like ay ay, my <laughs> fingers. But they got the little pad on, but boy, I seen a dude get hit with that stick on them knuckles. I don't care about that pad or not, boy. Yowza, boy. And they get real violent, like they they play, they play that big time. Matter of fact, the quarterback from Alabama, Tyler Buckner, I believe he stopped. He remember he was at Notre Dame from California, went to Notre Dame, uh -huh. left there, went to Alabama, kind of stunk it up against USF uh, in that game, and I believe he quit playing football altogether and just stayed with lacrosse. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tyler Butler playing lacrosse, man. I don't no, think man, is there I mean, a pro lacrosse league? Is there a pro lacrosse league? If it is, it's not not, maybe, not that I know of. Maybe not here. Um, yeah, maybe maybe not here. Mm -hmm. looking, Good, research. <laughs> Good research. Good research for the for the fact check. No. Maybe. 
And I don't even know if it's an overseas game. I don't know if they play overseas. I don't know. I don't know the history behind it. But it's been a game been around for a long time. A lot of people play it. Um, like I said, more of a northern sport. Um, as you go north, I'm saying. Somebody say yes, yeah, a pro league, PLL and NLL, pro really? lacrosse league, and, and NLL. I'm just guessing is national lacrosse league. Do they have a Super Bowl? Mm -hmm. I have no do they have a Super Bowl? Yeah, but no, I know they give scholarships for lacrosse, man. So that's big time. No, that, that's that's, time. that's, that's, that's let's get you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see how. You go first. I ain't got nothing street, god dang it. Like you got old CI, dog. You, yesterday you claim I stole yours. Today you tell me you ain't you got did. none. All right, oh. hold on. Let me see here. I don't, I don't see how. I don't see. Hold on. I, you know, I always keep some in the archive. Let me check the archive right quick. It's not, not playing with you, boy. Not playing with you, boy. I always <laughs> try to bookmark something. I always Can you be bookmarking all the has? Right quick. Let me see here. Huh? Yeah, because this stuff be so interesting. I'll be like, bro, yeah. I'll be like, bro, how in the world? I don't see how the Buffalo Bills think they're going right. to get away signing Spencer James. I don't see how. Spencer James got way too much drama going on. <laughs> Buffalo Bills going to get away. I think they're going to get away signing Spencer James. Spencer James got way too much going on on that All American show, though. I don't see how. <laughs> I don't see how. Spencer James got way. They got way too much drama going on. They got rappers. They got people get. They got people get shot. I don't see how, dog. All right, I don't see how. I, I gotta. I don't see how. Check the private chat. See if you can see it in the private chat. But speaking of Spencer, I don't see how. I saw this thing that he was the he didn't even know how to put his pads on. He's the star of this. He's he's the star of the show, and he didn't even know how to put the football gear on. He has never played football. They had to teach him everything. He's from England, I believe. So he never he's the star of the show, and you know usually to be a star or to, to get a particular role, especially in that kind of physical part, you should have a little background. And this dude has the least experience out of everybody on there. Dude, when they say his first shoot, he had his shoulder pads on backwards. What? Yeah, this, they say he was this, in bad shape. Though. This right here? You see it? That's it? No, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to put it up. This is my I don't see how. Let me go ahead and preface it a little bit. I don't see how before you press play. I don't, hold up. Before you press play, I don't see how these kids in full pads Playing flag football. Press play. <laughs> what do we get into, dog? What does the world get into, dog? Press play that shit. Man, man, what is going on, man? <laughs> Press play. Watch this. Look at this. <laughs> what in the world is this, dog? First of all, they're talking another language, so it ain't here. They got something confused. Yeah, they 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 they, they, they got something confused. They they talking another language. They they got it all wrong. Street. They seen enough football. You got a helmet. Shoulder pads, thigh pad, knee pad, butt pad, hip pad, gloves with flags on. Is that what we're gonna see lately? A different game. Like they had a center, they had a quarterback, then they had that whole setup was different. I don't see how. Leave that junk alone. Leave that crap alone. All right, man. Let's get on up out That's of here. Man. Listen, I IOD squad, bro. Listen. 
Bitcoin IOD squad seven eight six four five nine four nine nine. If you if you want to watch us invest every day, every day we put out plays. You can see the plays we put out. Uh, if you know what you're doing. You can just jump in them. Or if you don't know what you're doing, you could ask around. But if you're trying to do something with your money, man, other than spend it on black and miles, Gucci belts, <laughs> Fendi flip flops, Fendi flip Facebook coins. <laughs> <laughs> GTA skins, <laughs> stems, sh- cards, <laughs> Candy Crush extra men, Candy Crush extra men, uh, Farmville animals. Come on, come on with us, man. Put it in Bitcoin. Put it in Tesla, man. We'll we'll show you how we do it, bro. And 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 and, and you'll be on your way because this is the month, man. Shout out, shout. Out. I don't know if you want me telling y'all this, but shout, shout out. Shout out to uh, Snipes in this thing, man. Snipes had Bitcoin early. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> Shout out to Snipes, man. Shout out to Snipes. Oh, look, can I tell you something, Street? Because you know, I made an investment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling people now. I was up about 12 o'clock today. No. Yeah, about 12 o'clock today, 10.30-ish, I was up $51. I was up $51. Mm-hmm. Now I'm up $18. It went down, but I'm still in the. I'm still positive right now. What percent was that? Positive. Do you know? Uh, no, because that'll tell them my investment. So, no, I'm not going to tell them. But, but. But I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you this. Whatever percent it was, right, uh-huh. it's a big percent. It's, it's a, a good size. And we, yeah, and we play with it, right? Like people don't understand. Like twenty percent of your on your money is crazy. The the bank offer you three percent on CDs or something crazy like that a year. He's just watching yeah. his money go up and down fifteen percent at a time. Twenty percent, fifteen percent, twenty, thirty, forty down. Hold on, I just I just lost a dollar. Damn it. <laughs> I just lost a dollar. I got to get off the app. I got to get off the app. It's driving me crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nah, shout out that, to that's what, shout out to everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to understand, saying, man. That that percent is crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, it went up. Like I said, it went up. It went down. It was down. It was below. I was actually under fifteen dollars, and I said, "This dang on streeter." And then I woke up this morning, and I was up fifty-one dollars. I'm like, yeah, right. And then. When I just checked it right now, I was only up eighteen dollars. God damn. But notice this. Notice this. Gotta go back to this. Notice how you slowly, how you slowly are no longer going in the red, right? Just notice that. Because <laughs> that's how yeah, it goes. Cool. It's, it's like mesmerizing. Yeah. Like, but you slowly no longer seeing the red. You're in the green. It's like the water rising. Yeah. A person with a hundred thousand dollars in there. Are watching their money go up fifteen thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, fifteen, ten. You know what I'm saying? And then that's the difference. Like, I mean, with it's percentages. So man, hit, hit oh. us up, man. Seven eight eight four five nine four nine nine. Man, send us a text and say IOD squad. What you got here? None. Uh, you could call me. <laughs> I'll invest it for you. Now I can't guarantee a return, but you just go ahead and send the money to your boy, <laughs> and then I I send it to you. Yeah, just yeah, cash out. <laughs> Don't call me till 2032 and I'll tell you what you you re- re- get what your uh you know results gonna be. But uh anyway, no nah, man, just teasing man. Y'all check me out in about 15 minutes on the same well, Coach Hayes, uh football man. We're gonna talk about a little Colorado. It is primetime talk Tuesday. Uh and again, we're gonna definitely talk about some stuff here on Kane's talk on Wednesday. And the WREs are coming out. Uh we got definitely gonna make them happen, man. And there was definitely some movement moving at in in uh in Miami. And uh, street, I got your back, dog. Just call this hootie hoo, and I'll be on my way. Cause they said, them came, they at, No, they at Footballville right now. They at Footballville. They're acting crazy. They're acting crazy. They oh, at Footballville. Oh, f- oh, freedom fighter, but it's working. I love it when the plan comes together. <laughs> it was, One I love it. <laughs> million dollars. I love it when a plan comes together. Y'all too funny, man. So with all that being said, hey, that is crazy. I heard Najee Kelly might be leaving. 
That's crazy. Or oh, he might, is leaving. Yeah, might sure. be. My bad. But anyway, that, that did shock me, though. Uh, even though I saw it on your list, I, I was like, yeah, maybe not. But anyway, with all that being said, man, we out here. Appreciate y'all. 459 people in the building. Go ahead and hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thank y'all so much. And uh, we'll be back in 23 hours right here in Maui. Peace.